so I just hit it. Okay. So at least.
sorry.
I do everything I do to try and just, I'll just make it a big mess. But I remember other than thinking, I, this is my last chance. Here. This is my God. I'm going, I'm jumping in with both feet. And, and I didn't even know what that meant, jumping in with both feet. And uh, but it, it was surrender, and it was uh, it was not easy. It was, it was not easy at all. But I, I did jump in with both feet, and I got involved in the Silver Recovery.
guys were in the new member class today. Raise your hand. We have about 11 people who are in the, in the new member class, and the power of God fell at the end. So if you haven't gotten a chance to come in and be a part of that, I would want to just invite you guys to come on out and be a great member of this church. Starting to narrow it down. So, if you got any other suggestions, I really would suggest that you get them in here in the next seven to ten days. Okay. Uh, because something is a brewing. It is coming very, very soon. So, you got to be praying for that so that we can make sure we hear the Lord concerning that. And then I want to bring up Shawnee and the police. Can Shawnee and the police come on up? Yeah. <laughs>
Um, so we just want to encourage you. We want to thank you, first of all, because of all the support that you as a church give us to do events like that. Yeah. Uh, and to reach out to the community and have people who had never been to our church before that came and participated in the conference as well. And it was just great. We thank you for your support. We thank you for all the people that helped out. And Sean, you put it on yours. Today it is much cooler in this place. Yeah. <laughs> 
Spoke the spirit, the spirit of God spoke the child. And praise God. They used to also say, beat him with a rod and will not kill him. <laughs> but they don't say that no more. It's just in the Bible. I don't want to get too much trouble around here. I was watching a movie with Chris Rock. And he said, hey, there's my dad.
upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat or for substance. So I get to have an amazing amount of influence and impact over what happens in my life. Because God gives me dominion and he gives me seed. I was just a young fellow when I decided one day I don't need anybody to give me a, a break. I can make my own break. Because I Bye. 
mind. What's the harvest that God has in mind that he wants to sow you into? Hmm. Would you believe that I don't believe that your presence is an accident at your employment? Yeah. I don't believe that your presence is an accident in this church. Hmm. I don't believe your children are the way they are by accident. I actually believe that God is raising up a seed that he wants to sow. Now, you know a seed has to go through some things okay. yeah. to become a harvest that God wants to be a harvest. Yeah. So God was actually talking to me and saying, we're going to have to get away from the seed time at the dinner table that you've been sowing so you don't look different at that body. <laughs> but that's a whole other message. Because <laughs> all that seed time has produced a harvest on your belly. Good. <laughs> 
said, don't kill the gift. You gotta go ahead and allow yourself to know that God has given it. Let's look at another seed, 2 Corinthians 9 and 10. Just going over a couple seeds. Everybody say the seed of myself. Come on, somebody say the seed of talents and gifts. Alright, next say this is the financial seed. God has a harvest, a financial harvest that he has for your future. And it says this, and God, read this when we say, say it, ready, read, say, and Thank <laughs> you. 
something. They'll say, well, why did you just do what you just did? Let me tell you why. Because you get religion in church. Yeah. And every now and then I have to smack two or three people in the head with religion. <laughs> That's what y'all know. Pastor Kevin is pretty personal. <laughs> y'all understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes they look at you and they look at you like, ooh, I know that. So I smack you. <laughs> 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 Why? Because it's the word of God. It's fresh and new. That's the ability to come to your heart and produce a harvest that you've never had before. So you got to get a fresh revelation sequentially that God wants you to be able to have. Let's go on down. Let's take a look at Proverbs 18 and 22. It says, Whosoever findeth the wife findeth a good thing and obtains what? Favor of the Lord. Verse 24 says that a man that has friends but show himself free. that God wanted to sow into my life as a harvest. I just want you to know I call this the seed of networking. I remember the first time God had me work this seed. And it was me working up the nerve. Can you not say work up the nerve? That's what networking is. It's you working up the nerve to go and talk to my future wife. I was so nervous that I gave her six digits. <laughs> But well, watch this. God had harvest in mind. Because she'd be sitting on the platform. If I went and mustered up those three minutes of courage. You guys think I'm playing with this, but I'm really serious. My son called me this week. He's going to kill me for telling me this. He said, Dad. I said, What's up, son? He said, I shot my shot this week. <laughs>
I got to wrap this thing up because I got to go fast. So can I just go at it for a minute? Come on, y'all gonna have to write it down because I ain't gonna come back and preach this bad boy. The seed of worship for the harvest of mental health. I already gave that one to y'all today. The seed of worship for the harvest of mental health and emotional health. Yeah. If you won't sow it, you'll never have the harvest that God has in mind. He does not. Thank you. 
Nigga took my second job, bitch, to do. Pray for you. Any possible, any possible, I'm going to pray for you. It's unqualified. So it's got to be personal prayer, and it's got to be public prayer, and then I got to encourage all y'all to pray. So I'm going to give you guys an invitation on 12, at 12 o'clock. Someone else. 